battery left on it, so it looks like it's going to be a dual camera vlog today. Whew. And I've been feeling like dog mess the last couple of days. Life's car fell apart on us. Just, uh, just the main part of the car, the drive shaft. It was probably well on its way out before I got suspicions it was well on its way out before it just stopped moving for her. It stopped moving because all the bearings fell out of the little sleeve in there. There's six bearings in the end of that shaft. There's like three little clamps that go over the six bearings. I guess it's three. <clears throat> Only found parts for three, I'll put it that way. Maybe more, but three's what we got. Um, anyway, we've been on the hunt. Mostly she's been on the hunt. I've been feeling like crap trying to recuperate the last couple days. Not doing very well with it, I'm afraid. But uh, I'm starting to get to where I can function again. So hopefully this is the end of it and I can get my butt back to work tomorrow. But she's been hunting around trying to find a replacement shaft just trying to find even a used one which I kind of think was a mistake but uh, nobody's got the exact shaft now you'd think it's a 1999 Saab 9.3 convertible you'd think all the shafts are pretty much universal or between that year model Well, she shown me because I was still able to log on to my laptop on the, at the bedside there and play the lazy thing. Um, but she sent me probably five or six different uh, pictures of drive shafts that were close but none of them that were exact. One of them that I found in the few minutes that I was able to sit up and search was a, uh, was one that was like 17 bucks for the drive shaft, which would have been perfect. Most of the parts for these cars are pretty cheap. Unless you get them from a dealer locate or a dealer sponsored repair service. sitting there looking at this thing going, there's no way. The one had a, it looked exactly like it. There's a little bit more space between the back of the inner sleeve and the actual bearing, so I'm not 100% sure it'll work. I emailed the guy and tried to find a contact number for him and just couldn't find anything. So I figured, well, maybe that one just wasn't meant to be. Said it looks a lot like it, but not, I'm not 100% sure, so there's no way I'm going to order it. I mean, yeah, it's only 17 bucks, but it's almost $50 in shipping because of the weight. So, because of that, <laughs> we had to look elsewhere. She found a couple salvage yards that said they had it. Uh, one place in Bowling Green that, that had it, um, there, they finally got theirs out and the boots ripped on it. 
Okay, so we'll move to a new camera. The battery died on my camcorder, which I knew it was going out anyway as soon as I started it. But anyway, found a place in Bowling Green. They said that their uh, the shaft, once they got it out, was actually the boot was actually ripped on it, which does us absolutely no good. So, kind of out of luck on that count. Now, mind you, this whole time, it's actually tying up my neighbor's lift. It's a car sitting up there, and we can't just put it back together. I mean, we could, but it wouldn't have drive shaft in it still. Um, so, I actually contacted a place in Nashville that's a uh, Saab parts supplier which there are no Saab dealerships so that's we're kind of out of luck that way but uh, they're saying that they can get the replacement parts sent over and I'm hoping that they can actually either repair or replace what we've got to where she can at least go for a while. Um, one option was like 50 something dollars. Uh, the other option was 240 something dollars. And if the inner boot has to be replaced also, we're looking at upwards of $500. Because it's dealer replacement parts inner boot you can't or the inner knuckle you can't get aftermarket unless you buy the whole shaft and even then you're not guaranteed that it's going to be the right length or the right size supposedly they can take that inner knuckle off and replace it I don't know um, if that's the case then we can just get the uh, the bar and the outer knuckle and I keep looking down on the floor because it's that's where it's at but there's the inner knuckle piece of bar for the shaft the, or the outer knuckle the inner knuckle a bearing that everything sets in and there's a snap ring that holds the bearing in place which keeps the the whole shaft in the car and then there's about that much more drive shaft that goes from the bearing to the transmission itself. Now, I'm hoping, they're telling me that I can bring just this part in and they can fix what we've got and it'll be anywhere from $55 to $150 if it's just the outer knuckle that needs to be redone and they can do it in-house today. They've ordered a part. If it's going to require that internal joint as well, they said they'll look at it and if it's all scored up and everything, there's not really going to be a whole lot of sense in replacing it. But um, that inner joint is the one, the part that by itself it's like 500 70 something dollars the shop closes at six it's right at three now so i'm hoping that they can get this done in time because i mean it's just i'm taking them the shaft it's out of the car they don't have to work to get it out all they got to do is replace the part on the dang thing charge me whatever they're going to charge me and let me go on my way I can come straight back home, throw the bearing back on it, and the snap clip and the little rubber boot, pop it back in the car and call it a day. Have everything back together in just a, a short while and get it down off Michael's lift. Okay. I'm gonna put a picture of the damage shaft up here. show you it repaired 
Now, we could find these two knuckles. The part that we couldn't find was that extended shaft there. But I just had them put this piece on and strap it, uh, pack it full of grease and strap it back down for me. And we're good to go again. I know he didn't mean to, but this guy kind of crushed my dreams because that right there is my dream car. Lotus Turbo Esprit. Don't ask me why, I've just always liked those cars. That one has a bent tie rod end. And see if that was the right year model Saab right there, we could have just taken a shaft off of it. <laughs> But uh, because it's got a bent drive shaft on it, they've been hunting. Lotus no longer makes the parts for it, according to what I was just told. So they've been hunting the country for a brand new one. Can't find one anywhere. They still make Lotuses. That's an older model Lotus. So those parts aren't necessarily widely manufactured any longer. So as much as I love those cars, I'll not be buying one. Even if I found it at a killer deal. Because you see where that one's sitting. Now personally, I don't know why they can't just uh, I think my brakes are about to go out. I don't know why they can't just take the one that's off there if it's just bent. Take it off there, heat it, and straighten it. And then do the quick cool thing, throwing it in a jug of ice cold water. It would, I can't think of a, reduce the tensile strength of this deal, but the guy would still be able to drive his car. It'd be straight again. But evidently the guy that owns it doesn't have any uh, mechanical ability. Of course, you got that kind of money. You're not buying the car to work on it. buying the car to drive it and when you need it worked on that's what shops are for that's why his is sitting there no tags on it probably no insurance on it lying on the repair places insurance I won't say that for a fact because I don't know that for a fact I wasn't told that that's just my assumption you know what they say about assumptions Anyway, just to replace that end, lady, I don't trust you. Oh, it's a lady. I really don't trust you. I'm trying to get up a little further ahead up in the line. God, people are ridiculous. Anyway, 124.50 uh, 124 total. 55. Sorry. So, if they would have had to take it off the car themselves and repair it, it would have been probably closer to $500. Got the new shaft in. This knuckle, that knuckle are what were replaced. <clears throat> That's how it's all pieced together. <clears throat> then it goes straight across into there where it goes into the transmission. 
all lined up. Got the new snap, the same snap ring back on it. It's good and tight. You know, that German setting. So it's not coming back out now. <clears throat> now the fun part is gonna be busting that ball joint loose. And I may have to take that sway bar end link out also, I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna bust that loose and give her a couple wax and see what we can do here. All right, got that ball joint loosened up to where There's just a couple threads holding it on there. I don't want to have to get the pickle fork out. Dang it. Don't want to be smacking that and gumming it up either. Uh, yep, this is going to take a different type of persuasion. All right, because of not having an extra set of hands, I just have to show you the aftermath. Got it in there. It's just a slight little bit of slack in it, but that'll work. Put the, I had to take that, didn't have to take that off, but I wound up taking that off thinking that that would help. Taking that sway bar end off. Had to take that one off. All that smacking I was doing on that was useless because as soon as that bolt was loose, or as soon as that nut was loose, the whole thing came out, no problem. Just dropped right down, it only dropped down about yay far. But it was just enough to pull this piece out to get that in there. Went in there like a glove. So now she should be able to go. Whew. So now we'll put the brake mounting bracket back on here. Unhang the caliper from the coat hanger. Put the wheel back on, drop it, and she's ready to go. Yeehaw. Glad of it too. All right, so I'll button back up. Oh, I gotta put this caps on still. Two little dust caps. To keep all the grime out of those Allen head. There we go. Now she's all buttoned back up. Double checking everything. That's on tight. That's all in place. Let me show you real quick. I think that was put in for a reason. I don't think that's stock. And there's the hole in her muffler. Right dead in the center of the car. I'm gonna have to get that cut out and replaced. According to Michael, he thinks this is one of those pinch joints. But it kind of looks like it's welded in there, sort of. So I don't know. Might just take that old pinch joint that's, pinch joint that's rusting everything out anyway, out of there. Looks like it's welded. I don't know. Anyway, we need to take that out and replace it another hanger on there and then it's good all the way back to the muffler <laughs> not really muffler not really doing nothing just hanging there dead weight and that's uh 107 dollars i think it was to replace that with a uh, aftermarket plus i think that was roached out anyway so probably well after time to replace it but that should get it. Throw this wheel back on here now. 
kind of a weird angle, but Yeah, and he's in the truck. Uh, I can't visit 
I'll get it. No, no, no. You still know it. Oh, okay. So, yeah. This is the W up here in this car. Yeah. And you know, when you realize, of course, that he goes without saying, okay, there's BMW out there. But if any damage were to befall that. I'll kill you. It's in the shirt. I think. Even though it's broken down, I'll kill you. Silence. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't have no, uh, you didn't have no trouble getting the snap ring back in and all that. Oh, God, that was easy to find. Yeah, I figured it would be because going oh, yeah, on. Yeah, just started and just pushed it in my fingers. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm always gonna be happy with this. Okay, so. okay. What do you think? Uh, you think she can save up enough to get that exhaust? Um, no, that'll probably have to be me. <laughs> <laughs>